That was just for dramatic effects. I wasn't actually eating the popcorn. I have braces and if my orthodontist gets hold of this video, I will be in big trouble. Back to the video. It is your boy Velocian and I am so excited for today. This has been part of my three week project showcase where I have been demoing some of the most famous apps or websites that many of you have been using. And guys, this is week three, the big one. So what am I gonna be showcasing today? Of course, it is in the title, it is Netflix. And to build this clone, we're gonna be using React, Redux, Firebase, and for the first time on this channel, Stripe, which is the payment system. Now, during the showcase, I will be going through some of the cool features that I've built in this clone, and more specifically on the payment system that I've added just for you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. My beautiful people, the excitement is growing, so let me get started and unpack the cool features that I have built just for you guys. Now, I have two sites open. The one that is currently displayed on your screen is Stripe, which is used for the payments. And if you watch my previous two showcase videos, this one will be familiar to you. It is Google Firebase. Now, I'll get into this in more depth shortly, but for now, I just want you to see that there's no data as we have not signed up for an account yet or made any payments. All right, guys, let's start up our Netflix clone. So to get started, I'm gonna open up my terminal on my computer, and then I'm going to navigate to the directory where my Netflix clone resides. Okay, I'm there, and now I'm gonna open up my Visual Studio Code Editor. All right, there we go. Uh, so for the people who have not watched my previous two showcase videos, uh, you will see the left-hand pane with a bunch of files. I've created these files, uh, which I use, which is used to build the uh, Netflix clone. Uh, in the middle, you'll see a bunch of code. Uh, these are one of the files. Um, I'm not gonna go into them in depth, but essentially, uh, if you do wanna see me build this clone along with the other two from start to finish, uh, I will do so if I get a substantial number of comments in my YouTube videos. Um, but I'm gonna start up this project. Just run npm start. It'll take a few seconds. It's busy running. And there we have it, guys. My build of Netflix. Now, as you can see, I have not deployed this site. It's not live. It's running currently on the local host, which is my computer. But it's fully functional, and I'm gonna take you through all the functionality um, in a few moments. But let's have a look at, let's have a little peruse through what's what's in this homepage. So we have the Netflix sign at the top. We have the sign-in button. We have this cool little background um, with the Netflix look and feel. And have a look at this, guys. So this site is fully responsive. So if you had to deploy this site and host it, it will be able to be viewed very comfortably on your mobile phone or tablet. Look how it scales, it's pretty cool. Those buttons, etc. But I know you did not come to see the scaling of the site. You wanna actually go, go ahead and look at the functionality. So let's get started with it, right? So I'm gonna click on sign in and create an account. So I'm gonna use my email address. Right, create a password. And because I do not have account, I'm not gonna sign in, I'm gonna sign up. So I'm gonna click on the sign up button. So the sign up has been successful. And as you can see, it takes us to the plans page, right? So just like Netflix, where you have a basic standard and premium plan, uh, I have created the same type of structure. Now let's go ahead and, and, and choose a plan, right? So uh, I wanna view my, my, my videos in good quality. So 
I'm not gonna choose premium because that's too expensive, but I don't wanna choose basic either. So let's choose something in between. Let's choose stand, the standard plan, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click subscribe. And within a few seconds, it will beam up the payments page. There we have it, guys. So it's it opened up the payments page. Um, as you can see, it says standard plan, 139 Rand in South African Rands. It's showing my email address because it has, it, it has pulled that through. And now I can go ahead and put in my credit card information. Now, as you can see, it says test mode at the top. I'm running this in test mode, so I'm gonna put in a credit card, which is a dummy credit card. So um, if you see the numbers here, it's not gonna actually work in real life. So this is just for test purposes. And the test card is, is the following. Right. And then I'm gonna put in my name. I'm gonna put in address. Uh, let's just put. Johannesburg, South Africa. Once again. Ah, uh, it's I I think I have to specify a specific address. I'm just gonna put Sandton City. That's cool. All right. I put in my details and let's subscribe to a Netflix account. I'm gonna click on subscribe. It's processing. And let's have a look. There we go, the green tick. So I've subscribed to a YouTube um, subscription on the standard plan. What am I saying guys? Not a YouTube subscription, a Netflix subscription on the standard plan. So let's have a look at this, right? So just like the real Netflix, um, you can see there's a play button, you can have your list of, of videos, etc. And then have a look at the, this little functionality. As you hover on uh, the specific movies, you can see it has that nice little effect where it just zooms in, right? And then you can just scroll through and see under Netflix originals, for example, um, what movies or series uh, that is available to you to watch. I'm just gonna scroll through a couple of them. Have a look at this, trending now. So it has a whole lot of trending now videos. And if you're wondering where am I getting all this information from, it is from the TMDB uh, database. So I'm using the API key uh, to get this information. Right, so we have top rated, uh, we, have the, we have a couple movies or series uh, over here. We have action movies, comedy, horror, romance, etc. Right. So I'm not going to go into all of them, but just if you've used Netflix before, um, you would have you kind of know the, the look and feel of the functionality, and it looks exactly the same as this one. Now have a look at this here. So we have a, a little movie title um, at the top, right? So this is essentially your, your recommendation engine. Uh, if I refresh this, it goes ahead and pulls in uh, another one. So it automatically doesn't keep it static. It just chooses uh, another movie that you may uh, may want to watch. Now, there's no actual recommendation engine built. I've just done it and uh, uh, done a randomized function. So it just pulls through a random movie um, that you, uh, you may want to see. So cool, guys. This is the Netflix build that I wanted to show you guys. Now have a look at this. I'm just gonna click on the profile button. And now it shows me that I have chosen a current package, which is the standard plan. And it also goes ahead and shows me that it has a renewal date, right? So the renewal date is obviously a month from now. I've signed up, uh, which is on the 20th of February. So the renewal date will be the 20th of March. Now, just to prove that this is working, right? And it's actually storing your information. Let's go back and have a look at this in our Firebase uh, account, right? So I'm gonna go to authentication and it shows on the Febru February the 20th, it signed up my account, illusion at gmail.com, right? Now you guys are probably gonna wanna see how it actually works in Stripe, right? 
So have a look at this. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this, the payment screen. And it shows that one payment has been made, succeeded on the 20th. And I can even go ahead and look at the customers. So it shows once again, the customers that have been signed up for Netflix. Now let's try this again, right? So let's go ahead and sign up another user. So I'm gonna sign out from this. I'm now gonna use my favorite, Elon Musk. So let's use Elon. Obviously fake email address. I'm just doing this for demo purposes. And I'm gonna sign up now. Okay, I don't wanna remember the password. All right, so Elon comes to the, uh, the plan page and he's gonna choose a specific plan. So it's Elon, obviously he's gonna go for premium. I'm gonna click on premium. And while it's doing that, I just wanna show you that it has actually went ahead and registered um, Elon's profile. So let me refresh this. And there you can see he has been added to the database, right? So let's go make a payment. All right. Let's use the United States. And I'm just going to choose something random. Okay. Oh, I need to put in. Okay, there we go, done. Subscribing, it's processing. It'll take a few seconds. There we go, the green tick. Elon has registered a account on Netflix for the premium plan. Now I showed you that on Firebase, um, his account has been registered. Now let's have a look at Stripe. So I'm gonna refresh this. There we go. Elon's account has been registered. I'm gonna go down to the payments and there we go, Elon is there. Now just to talk, to, talk, talk through uh, the payment system on Stripe. This is so powerful because uh, if you wanna create your own uh, little app or, or site, and you wanna include payments, you will be able to do some cool functionality. So let's just say uh, I wanna get refunded, right? I can go and obviously um, get a refund and give a reason, a reason by the customer, integ integrate this functionality and click on refund and the refund will come through to my account. The cool thing with Stripe is that under the products uh, a pane, you are able to create uh, coupons uh, which you can actually have for discounts for your customers etc and then if you want to have invoices that get automatically sent through to them uh, you can also have that cool functionality right but there you have it guys this is the build that i really wanted to showcase to you guys um, it is netflix it is the netflix clone uh, it has been part of my three-week project showcase i hope you really enjoyed it uh, just to recap in this build we took you through the home screen of, of um, Netflix, how to log in, how to sign up, uh, the payments, navigation, the actual uh, little bill showing you the functionality, uh, along with Firebase and in-depth uh, look at Stripe. I hope you really enjoyed it and I'm gonna be looking forward to building many more powerful websites or apps that you guys could have a look at and mimic and clone for your own uh, use, whether it's for a business or just for a hobby. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I promise you that I have some amazing content in the upcoming weeks where I'm gonna be taking you from start to finish where I will be including the code. But for now, it is your boy Velocian. I love you guys. Peace.